Welcome, my boys, to Master Duel. I'm glad you guys are here to share this experience with your boy. This is my first Master Duel video, and I wanted to just make it on my Gladiator Beast deck. We got to make it live on stream. I got to improve it over last night, and uh, I want you guys to check it out. So let's just hop right into the deck list. Now, what's cool about Master Duel, there's so much customization. There's so many different ways to test out your deck and try out the new cards and things like that. So while I'm setting this up for you guys to talk about this deck, you might see some replay in the background of me demonstrating pretty much how this deck works. So primarily the deck runs around using, using uh, Gladiator Beast Andal and Gladiator Beast Augustus in combination to end your board with a Herc and a Domitianus and potentially um, a Gladiator Beast Tamer editor that cannot be destroyed by battle with at least two cards in hand, which could provide up to three negates for Herc. So um, if you push that a little further, you end up with less cards in hand, but more monsters on the field. But the idea is just that to summon Herc and Domitianus at the same time on the first turn consistently. Now we have an assault mode for going second to pretty much attack our opponent and wipe them out in just one turn. And we really lean heavily on the Tri Brigade cards to do that. You'll see more examples of that in the replays as we go forward. But in terms of this deck, what makes it viable and easy to play and consistent is that it can consistently be searched using Fire Formation Tinky and also Glad Airby's Proving Round. There's many things to bring monsters back from the grave like Swing of Memories, which was recently added, um, and then Foolish Burial, which was added for the Tri Brigade cards. The key is to make sure that you don't brick and you can have a unique play, a unique interaction with every card in the deck, and typically you can achieve that. The only way you really lose is if you open up a hand and you can make zero plays, and zero plays would mean you have three of all the same monsters, but three of all the same monsters in this deck is not a death sentence unless those three monsters are Gladiator Beast Augustus. <laughs> so yeah, my boys, this is a pretty fun deck and I really think that you guys should um, check it out. Enjoy the replays and um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. But as always, let's keep dueling my boys. All right. So starting off right now, looking pretty good, going first. Oh no, we're going second. This is against the Sky Strikers. Okay, so going second. So I had to OTK this man, end his life uh, in just one turn. So yeah, going second means we ended him in one turn. So we end up getting ashed, which is fine. This deck plays through ash like it's nothing. Uh, so we'll continue to play. He thinks we're playing Tri Brigade, but now he's gonna be really surprised. It's Gladiator Beast. Yeah, he's like, what is this jank? <laughs> the, the perfect deck to destroy you, my boy. Don't worry. So as we continue our plays, uh, we're going to go ahead and head out Blossom. Blossom's going to let a special summon from the hand. But now we're going to put Blossom in the grave and going to use her effect afterwards to play this Test Panther. So Test Panther and Blossom goes off, allowing me to search the deck and draw and put a card at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and add the comeback. Blossom's effect, grab Monster Reborn. I put Kit at the bottom. I had to make that tough choice. Um, it was either Kit or Augustus, and I chose Kit so that I could follow up with my, uh, you know the play that's coming next. Here's Augustus. to special summon another Augustus. Augustus in the Tamer Editor. He will take control. Uh, oh no, he negated it or something with that uh, Widow Anchor. Uh, he did something, he negated it. So here we go in the Appaloosa, the Goddess Bow. Gladiator Beast comeback. Now you might wonder, you know, why did I go into Appaloosa the Goddess Bow and I didn't go into um, this big boy, the uh, the rank the rank four guy? Why didn't I go here? Well, Appaloosa is a fairy monster, and because Appaloosa is a fairy monster, I can use Gladiator Beast comeback to special summon a Gladiator Beast monster to the field. That is not the, the type is not already represented. So, since this is a fairy monster, I can use my comeback to special summon my Beast Warrior Gladiator Beast Tamer Editor. And with Tamer Editor's effect, I can use Gladiator Beast Agazaris and use his effect 
to, you know, go bang bang with the back row. Now it's battle time. So this is a game. <laughs> and as you can see, we played very well um, through the Ash Blossom. So let's continue. Here's another one. I think we're playing through Impermanence this time. All right, so we're starting off with Andale. Andale into the spider. Now, you know what spider does. Spider goes into summoning another Andale, but we got hit with Impermanence. So let's go ahead and bring him back with the comeback. Then we go right into the Panther. Panther Warrior. Use the effect, grab the comeback. Then we're gonna go ahead and start dumping these Tri Brigade cards, so good. Um, now we've went ahead and added our correct card. We're gonna dump the Nerval, comeback, the Gladiator Beast Andal, the Pasta, the Pasta. Yeah, the Pasta, just said a prayer over your life points and it's over. So now we're gonna go ahead and summon the big boy, Banish 4 for uh, Banish. Hit up that rank three. Summon the silver haired fox or the wolf or whatever he is. Battle time. Get you up out of here. Ah, yes. Very satisfying. Very satisfying. So, as you can see, very good cleaning them up on the second turn. Um, so now what do we do on going on three? Three means that we set up our board pretty nice and they couldn't get around our play. So let's see what type of boards we set up on the first turn where our opponent was so jammed up, they just couldn't get past it. So that's just the power of the Gladiator Beast deck to set up these impossible boards and, uh, you know, make our opponents cry. <laughs> tears. <laughs> Them good ass tears. All right. So 10K looks like this is a hand where I didn't have any Gladiator Beast. And also I'm using Tri Brigade Revolt. So I was uh, testing out Tri Brigade Revolt and also testing out um, an evenly matched. But eventually I ended up taking out both of those cards and adding in um, two of the uh, Called by the Grays instead just to stop the random Ash Blossoms. Everybody's playing Ash. Um, I thought I would see a lot less of it. I was expecting more than the Biru, but no, it's just a lot of Ash. So I made that little tech choice. And because of that, you know, we can now witness the power of Tri Brigade Revolt. So Revolt lets you summon out all the monsters to perform a Link Summon, which is absolutely disgusting. And um, here he is, my boy. We're going to go ahead and get a free banish, and then we're going to go ahead and add a card to the hand, and we're also going to dump a card to the grave. So disgusting. Tri Brigade Revolt is a normal card, but it's very powerful if you're using Tri Brigade. So we're going to go ahead and add a card, and we're going to go ahead and dump a card. Since we don't have any Gladiator Beasts in sight, we're sticking to the Tri Brigade um, cards that we have, so we're basically playing into what we have. I could have... Um, I guess in terms of like banishing a card, I could have waited, but I didn't, I was playing against virtual world and I didn't really know what he was playing. So since I didn't know what he's playing, I just tried my best to just um, go with banishing his normal summon. Typically that's a good banish or a good interruption, stopping whatever was normal summon. So clearly he couldn't finish whatever he was trying to do. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and just make it hurt even harder. So he goes ahead and Ash Blossom stops me from searching a Gladiator Beast. That's absolutely fine because these Tri Brigades is enough and I'm gonna bring him back to the real world. So go ahead and summon out another Tri Brigade monster to banish for to give you some more. <laughs> and he's out of here. He doesn't want any more. He just does not want any more. So yeah, uh, <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Very much enjoyed that. That was pretty spicy. That was pretty sexy. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> All right. And uh, here we go, my boys. Back to another one. Oh, wow. Ash Blossom has come back for revenge. Whole The whole Ash Blossom has come back. So we're going to go ahead and play Andal with the unexpected die. 
And the reason why this deck is so consistent is because we don't run a lot of brick cards. We run a lot of one ofs and also anything that's essential to the combo, we run at maximum. And we also run a lot of Tri Brigade. So it's almost a Tri Brigade deck with Splash Gladiator Beast. Or you could consider a Gladiator Beast with Splash Tri Brigade. But at the end of the day, I'm summoning this Domitianus, my boy. So we're going to go ahead and do out the Augustus combo. You guys are acquainted with that. Augustus, a Torix. A Torix becomes a seven. Two sevens lets you contact Fuse for Tamer Editor. Tamer Editor lets you drop Domitianus. Now, I want to point out right now that I'm going to go ahead and link summon, and we're going to bring out Blossom. Now, the reason why we did that, we link summon to bring out Blossom, is because we need to get our Beast Warrior off the field. Because Domitianus is a Sea Serpent, Blossom is a Beast. So by removing my Beast Warrior, I can use the power of Gladiator Beast Comeback to special summon Tamer Editor yet again and use his mighty powers to summon Heraclinus. Now, the only thing that I didn't do to make this perfect was have a kit in hand. I made a mistake and chose the wrong card when I was um, searching out cards. And I should have got kit and put kit in hand, but I went and got Karis. So basically, if I had kit, I would have had two spell negates and a monster negate. But now I have one spell negate, one monster negate. I have control of the battle, and this card cannot be destroyed by battle. So basically, you cannot attack me. Let's go. So we're starting off with the pendulums. I had to let that go because again, I don't have the two negates, so my fault. He summons out the monsters. He's trying to use the eccentric. Domitianus says, hell no to that. And uh, looks like he's gonna have to battle me because his pendulum summon was not perfect. He tries to battle Domitianus. Well, he tried to battle somebody, but he had to battle Domitianus because I got to choose the direction of battle. And I choose the one that's going to lead you to your doom. So now it's my turn. We're going to draw. And uh, Tamer Editor's here. And we're going to use that effect to summon out Gazaris. Go bang, bang with the back row. And I'm going to give you some more. Here it come. Gladiator time. Wonderful turn three victories. That means that I set that turn one up perfectly. He couldn't go nowhere. All right. Um, and then... Let's see, that was a nice turn three. Here's another turn three. Uh, let's take another look at a turn three. And then we got a turn four, which means that he's the only one who could really hang with your boy. Turn four. Turn four? That's insane. We actually played Yu-Gi-Oh. That's crazy. All right. So we're getting in there again. He stole my avatar, that fiendish chain over there. So he went ahead um, and he's just watching this. I'm again trying to understand if he has ash or something. So I always start off with foolish. I try my best to make the gladiator play the last play I make. If I can make three plays in a turn, I'll make all three plays. Then the gladiator play will be the third play. Uh, just to give you an example, because I want that play to go through. If they got Ash, I want them to give Apple opportunity to Ash any of the Tri Brigade stuff. Because the Tri Brigade stuff is just bait. Bait to take away cards from your opponent's hand. Bait to lower your opponent's options. And then once you have utilized their effects uh, effectively, <laughs> you'll be able to special summon more Tri Brigade stuff and uh, win the duel. So here's the combo again. We're going to go Domitianus. You know because I did it this way, I have one kind of plan and strategy. We're going to go ahead and hit the Blossom yet again. And then Gary to be to come back. Come on back, activate the effect, and Herc, again, did not have kit in hand, made a mistake, but now I only have one monster negate, and then I have the one uh, spell negate. So I don't have uh, all the options, but I do have some options. So one monster negate, I can control the battle. You cannot kill Tamer Editor by battle, and also Herc can neg negate a spell. So um, we're still sitting pretty good right now i did use my monster negate on the first card that i saw but i don't really know this deck i should have stuck with my rule of negating the normal summon but um i did not do that so because i didn't do that i'm gonna pay the price which is an entire uh retaliatory play from this opponent which is a pretty sizable play it's a big play 
but um, he didn't make the right choices. He made a play mistake here. He should have used his effect to destroy Domiti Anus. If he had done that, he would have been able to use his 3,500 monster to smack over um, Herc, and then he could use his 2,600 monster to smack over Blossom, and, um, you know, that just would have been it. But because he didn't kill Domiti Anus, and he did not read, I control the battle, and therefore, I win! Draw it all. We're gonna go ahead and use Caress Effect to Special Summon. Nerval gets to dump and add the card that I should have had in the first place. We're gonna go ahead and bring out Gazaris to go bang bang with the front row. Now we're gonna use another uh, Blossom to Special Summon from the hand. Link three on these hoes. We're not playing. Then, after we link three, we're gonna go ahead and hit one more time, my boy. We're gonna go ahead and draw and put one at the bottom and then we're gonna dump from the deck. And by dumping from the deck and drawing and putting something at the bottom, we got rid of the brick and we added enough cards for this, the omen. Banish. Battle time. Yes, this is the true power of Gladiator Beats. All right. All right, so this is the last one. This is the one that was four turns. And I think this one had one of my favorite plays. Oh, it does have one of my favorite plays. I'm not even gonna spoil it. I'm gonna wait until you see it. Because when you see my hand, I'm gonna just tell you exactly um, what's gonna happen. So look at that hand. I'm gonna use Rescue Cat and Rescue Rabbit in one turn. I'm gonna use them both. Watch this. All right, start off with Foolish. Foolish Burial, dump the kit. Kit's effect. Dumps the Nerval. Nerval's effect, add to Chris. Summon the rabbit. Get ashed. What the fuck? <laughs> so, obviously, didn't get the rabbit. So, disappointed. <laughs> Discard the special. And summon Blossom. Blossom's effect to summon out the cat. Sam Knight and Karis. We're going to go ahead and hit up Link Shokan for the Panther. Panther search deck. Add the comeback. Oh my God, I'm going in, my boy. Summon the Augustus. Use Panther's effect, send back for Bestiary. Go bang, bang with the back row. Destroys Mirror Force. What the fuck? Was not expecting that. Rank three for the Silver Shella. All right, here we go. We went ahead and drew a card. We drew the perfect card, a reborn card. Bring back Sam Knight, Gazaris, bang bang with the front row. Battle, I'm about to get some mo. Let's get some mo right now. Then Gazaris' effect to summon out. You know what's gonna happen now, my boy. Go. Contact Fusion. Tama Editor. Tama Editor. Domitianos. Now we have control of the monsters and their effects. I didn't forget about your lust stone of the ancients. Negated. <laughs> we didn't forget, my boy. Gladiators never forget, my boy. Never. Monster Reborn sucks. But hey, that's all he got, my boy. Monster Reborn, he takes Augustus. He tries to rule us. We're going to go ahead and summon Cat for free. Um, he tries to battle Cat, but no, he has to battle Dimitri Anus instead. And at the end of his turn, we're gonna add Cat back. So disgusting. Now it's my turn. Get ready. Time to end you. Special summon Herc. Now I could have searched for Kit, but I just wanted to give him the dignity of the L, my boy. I didn't want to prolong it, my boy. I had to just give him the L. But know why? Because he's a brethren that has chosen Rescue Rabbit as his little baby. All right, my boy. So I appreciate y'all for checking me out hanging out and uh, watching this video. I will be making more content very soon and streaming live for you guys. Um, and we're gonna get in there with Gladiator Beast and all kinds of other decks. But um, I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you so much. And as always, let's keep dueling.